On a brighter note, history was made again today when the corporate-owned SpaceX Dragon Endeavor dropped off two NASA astronauts at the International Space Station. Their spacecraft launched yesterday, becoming the first time a private company has launched people into orbit. Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center. You're watching a rendezvous in space, 260 miles above Western Asia. The Crew Dragon capsule and its crew of two inching towards the International Space Station, moving at 17,000 miles an hour. Small thrusters coax the capsule into alignment. One meter to go. Then, contact. Docking sequence is complete. Truly was a magnificent effort by the entire team, the SpaceX team, the NASA team, and a team across America who was able to pull this off and bring human spaceflight again to our nation. Thanks for everything. Happy to be aboard. Through two open hatches, astronaut Bob Behnken floated into a space station welcoming from astronaut Chris Cassidy and two cosmonauts. Then came astronaut Doug Hurley, completing a flawless trip from Florida into space history. Well, everyone, welcome aboard Dragon. On their 19-hour flight from Earth, the astronauts shut off the SpaceX capsule. They've named it Endeavor. It has a touch display screen. That the capsule has been compared to a flying iPhone. And it turns out end up with one stowaway. A toy dinosaur also made the trip. Both astronauts have young sons. America's future in space is represented by this image. Two more astronauts aboard the space station sent there by a country that's back in the space launching business. Hurley and Bankin will spend the next six weeks aboard the space station and as long as four months. They can only hope the rest of their mission goes as well as the trip to their new home in space. Steve? A rousing success, Mark. Thank you. And we in St. Louis particularly proud of astronaut Bob Bankin. He's a St. Louis native. We're proud of what he's accomplished.